Welcome back to my channel! <laughs> Today, we'll be doing a tutorial that is um, a limited palette painting. So we'll be using the primary colors and black and white. The, the primary colors, as most of you already know, uh, are the following. We have red, blue, and yellow. Of course, strictly speaking, um, when you search uh when you search primary colors you may also see magenta cyan and yellow and that's absolutely fine if you want to use that as long as they are of the same range of colors then we're, we're going to achieve that for me i'll be using medium yellow phthalo blue and brilliant red and of course black and titanium white so let's begin now i decided to paint an autumn leaf and this autumn uh, autumn leaf has a lot of colors in it so yeah let's begin now and I'm gonna begin the painting by actually sketching it so you can follow along okay <laughs> so I'm actually excited about this one because I don't know how it's gonna go but I'm pretty confident that we'll be able to do it and yes I'll do my best guys <laughs> So for sketching, I'm just going to use my yellow. Oh, no, 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 not yellow. <laughs> Maybe orange because I already got the yellow. So I'm just going to get my orange uh, uh, mixture by combining red and yellow. Like that. And this is just for sketching. You can actually use any of the following, any of these colors. It's up to you guys. Okay, so I'm going to be starting here. Like that. And we're just map, uh, mapping out where things are going to go. And as we go on, um, this can change later. This can change, definitely. And I don't mind changing it later. We're just trying to get the shape. I think mine is quite big. Anyway, I'm gonna make some adjustments. So I'm starting the sketch using paints already, guys, because um, I don't see any problem with starting it with the, the paints already. If you wanna use your pencil, it's alright. But me, I wanna use my paints now. So this is an, a maple leaf. It's probably autumn somewhere, right? Okay. The background for our painting is black. So uh, as you can see here, I'm doing my leaf edges a uh, very um uneven because it's a dried leaf so i can see all right i have to make some adjustment guys okay and then i'm gonna okay again i'm using just orange you can use your red or yellow in sketching it then go up and then you go here I'm, I'm fixing the shape guys because um i really want it like balance all right so that's the shape guys ignore the lines inside the leaf just the just the outermost lines that i did that's the shape of the leaf so I know that I can do this and I hope you, no, no, no. I know that you can just believe in yourself. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to make some color orange. So I'm going to mix my medium yellow like that. And red, of course, the one that we use for sketching. And then I'm going to add a tiny bit of black, guys to tone down the colors like so 
like a brownie color. And maybe I'm gonna add a tiny bit of red even more and yellow. And I'm not gonna mix them all together, like blended, like well blended. I'm gonna use my hand as usual to paste it in right at the uppermost portion of the leaf. So I'm gonna wet my brush and make sure that it's pretty wet. And I'm gonna use my hands in spreading the colors like that. <laughs> I know it's kind of weird to you, but I've been doing this um, technique for the longest time. If you've seen me paint, I mean, if you've seen me paint <laughs> in my previous uh, videos, you probably have seen me touch my canvas like really often guys it's not all the time i don't think i have any painting that i haven't touched <laughs> all right so as you can see i'm like um um what they call this what they call that like watercolor effect on my leaf so that's orange all right, now I'm gonna make some brownie color using the orange mix uh, mixture. I'm gonna add more red this time. To make your browns, uh, get your red. It's okay if you have yellow, yellows in your hand, and then get some black, like this. Just mix well this time to get that brownie orangey color, like that. Just add black like that and I'm gonna apply this here the one of the corners of our petals of our petals <laughs> no not petals this is not a flower <laughs> of our leaf like that I'm sorry guys <laughs> it's not a petal but you know what uh, I think um, autumn leaves are like flowers I don't know if it, it's just me but to me they're like flowers because they're pretty <laughs> all right then i'm gonna use the same mixture that dark brown mixture to make some veins right here it doesn't have to be strictly straight guys it just has to be there okay wet your brush if it's getting a little dry like that Okay, same mixture, and then, oops, I think I, okay. all right, and then here, okay, I'm going to add a tiny bit of black to make it more visible, And we're gonna fix that later of course as always we do fixing later okay like that all right now wash your brush out okay wash your brush out now we're going um towards the outside or yeah outside um to call that <laughs> We're going, uh, we're going this way. <laughs> we're going this way. All right, it's so hard to explain. I'm gonna get my yellow and we're gonna make some green color by adding blue to that. Like, look at that. It just turned into green, right? I love it. Okay, now I'm gonna use this green color, but I'm gonna add a tiny bit of that brown mixture that we already have. To tone it down a bit so that it's not too like in your face bright green <laughs> and I'm gonna go dab on some greeny colors here okay I'm gonna add some yellow because it's not absolutely green it's quite yellow greenish but again tone down guys it's not bright yellow green yeah like that so we're gonna paint over the sketch that we made 
And again, I'm using the dabbing technique because we're trying to create some natural patterns of an autumn leaf and an autumn maple leaf, okay? So, yeah, like that. Continue doing this around the edge, I mean, the, the what do you call this? The edge of the flower, of the, of the leaf. Again, I keep saying, I keep saying flower. Okay. Now, I chose this image because I saw that there are a lot of colors that we can use or we can, um, we can achieve today, right? I want some colorful subject today so that we can really take advantage of the primary colors by mixing them all together. <laughs> well, if we mix them all together, we get the black color. All right. For this area, I'm gonna make it quite lighter. So I'm gonna add more yellow to this area. I'm using the watercolor technique. I'm calling it watercolor technique because I'm using a lot of water and I'm allowing the, the water to create the patterns on the leaf. So I'm not really using um, any particular brush strokes. I'm just allowing the colors to do its job. But of course, I'm dabbing it with intention of actually getting that pattern, if that makes sense. Like, I'm not just painting like that. I'm dabbing it and I'm watering it so that it creates that pattern. Okay. So just continue doing it. We will, you will be, oh, sorry. <laughs> we will be painting over those sketch lines that we had. Now I'm gonna make some darker green. So this light green or, or yellow green, I'm just gonna add more blue like that to make some darker green. So you can see now how we can play with the colors by just um, adding one color to a complex color already. Not complex, but um, secondary. <laughs> and now we go light again, so just add yellow. The purpose of going light and dark is to give it more dimension. It's not flat, you know that? Because a leaf is not absolutely flat. It has some folds and um, some creps like that. So I'm just going around, guys, until I reach that part. <laughs> this time I'm gonna make it quite yellowish so I'm just adding yellow okay so just get more yellow this time here okay and add water so that we get that effect again and again let's go dark green Like that. All right. Yeah. Okay, get your dark green. So if you already ran out of it, get your blue color. Just add it to the yellow greeny color. You can add a tiny bit of brown that we already created when we sketched the leaf. And then we can make some dark spots on the flower, on the leaf. <laughs> Keep saying it. And then I'm gonna make some fold, some folds here. Like that. All right. Make it here. Mm -hmm. All right, wash up a shout. Okay, wash up a shout. And then I'm gonna get my cat yellow. Just, I'm sorry, my medium yellow. Just get that without mixing it with any other color. If it mixes with green, it's all right. 
as long as the most the more dominant color is yellow I'm gonna water it down and I'm gonna dab it here right in the middle section between the orange and the greens and I'm gonna use my hand to blend it again guys water it down so that it has that um, natural um, natural look okay so I'm just using the watered down yellow to get that effect that I want all right here as well okay here Okay, even here, <laughs> I'm very, very random with this because, okay. like that. Okay, just cover everything for now. We will go over it with other colors later. We will go back to orange and reds. But basically, we've done the shape and basic colors of our autumn leaf. Okay, wash your brush out now. Wash your brush out. We're going to make some orange again. So just get your red and then mix it with yellow. Mix it with yellow. Actually, more yellow. Oh, there's green, but mm, it's all right. Okay, yellow, guys. Okay. It's like yellow orangey and then I'm gonna water it down and make some when I say water down guys literally it's watered down like a lot of waters guys so make it really watery so that we get that patterns that we don't really achieve by using the usual brush strokes and if you can achieve that using your usual brush strokes it's all right you don't have to follow my tech uh, my technique it's all right you can do that as well because um yeah this is just my way of doing it and again the pur the main purpose of this painting is for you to achieve the colors by using primary colors technique is of less importance here unless you actually want to paint this autumn leaf and you has you still have no idea how to do it so again i'm watering it down my orange and i really want it appear even inside those greeny colors so that it really looks you know natural all right i'll be laying i'll be layering a lot so yeah okay so now I'm gonna get I'm gonna get back to my brownie color that we had earlier when we did the veins right so I'm gonna go right in the middle water it down and just dab on some dark um, paints again it's watered down it's dark but it's watered down so we're creating now some depth and folds like that. All right. You see, I'm watering it down. I keep saying it, guys, because I really want to explain, not explain, but I want to make sure that my viewers understand why I'm watering it down. Okay, so I'm gonna get, my, again, my brownie color. This time, I'm not watering it down. I'm randomly applying that strict brown color in some areas, and I'm gonna make this, what they call that, the stem. Okay. I'm gonna add a tiny bit of black to that brown min brown mixture and I'm gonna apply it here 
if it's too black to you or for you it's all right i mean you can reduce the darkness i'm gonna glaze guys so there's really um i'm gonna glaze later so there's really no problem with me i'm gonna dab on some little black spots on the leaf tiny black spots guys here and there okay i'm gonna get my brownie color and mix it with my black apply it here can you see that i don't know if my light is too bright i'm gonna adjust the light mm. Okay, maybe it's too bright for you, isn't it? Just gonna adjust the light. Okay, I think that's that would be good. So I'm applying the black paints here and there. Also here and here. Just marking it. Okay, again, I'm going to get my brown color and I'm going to apply it here, uh, the edge of our leaf like this because it's like a dead leaf. Okay, now I'm going to make it more orangey. I'm going to get my orange color and mix it with my brown. Again, guys, I don't want to, I really want you to use the primary colors for this one. If you don't want, it's all right. But I really want to challenge you to just use the primary colors. And yeah, try it. Try it, guys. I think it's really relieving or freeing to know that you can actually do it without you know without having all those complex colors you can you can do that later but i think well my purpose for this video or for this tutorial is to for you to actually experience the primary colors um um what do you call this the the primary colors um <laughs> i cannot speak <laughs> to experience the primary colors ability to give you the other colors that we buy from stores that are ready to use okay so i'm just gonna use my brownie color and make some more veins like that Make some dots, markings, okay. I'm gonna get my black. We're gonna do the background now while waiting for the paints to dry. I'm gonna get my black. Um, by the way, guys, uh, as you can see, we're not using the, I'm not using the easel for today's painting because um, I'm using a canvas paper for this tutorial. Okay, we'll be doing the highlights later. As you can see, I haven't used my white yet. We'll be doing, or we'll be using that later. Again, just get your black color and do the background. The leaf is not yet done, in all honesty, it's not yet. 
it's like um underpainted that's it so i'm just using black for the background And then we're going to go up and finish the background. Okay. All right, my like God. Okay, again, black. again <laughs> okay. I think it's like too much light guys okay wait guys and then you know Okay, I think that's better. Okay, I think that's better. So, because of too much light. All right. Alright, so just doing the background like took us a lot of time, but it was satisfying. <laughs> it was, don't you think so? Okay, so what should we shout? We're gonna be doing a lot of highlighting and glazing. What should we shout? And okay. I'm gonna get another brush for okay I'm gonna get another brush a cleaner brush and I'm gonna make some orange color I'm gonna get my red brilliant red and I think I already ran out of yellow so I'm just gonna get my um, medium uh, medium yellow like that. Okay, so I'm gonna mix my medium um, medium yellow with red to make some orangey color, like so, like that. And this time I'm gonna make it more yellowish than reddish. So it's more yellowish, guys. Or light orange. Then I'm gonna dab on some light orange here. Actually, I really need it more light, like a lot of yellowish color. And I'm gonna make I'm gonna water it down and apply it randomly on the leaf randomly but near the green color near the green color guys and outside the dark red or orange I'm just dabbing it on you can use a sponge if you don't want this this technique guys I'm not compelling anyone to touch the paint 
But I love to touch the paint. Like that. <laughs> oh, that's too orangey. Okay. You can wash your brush out and then get your pure yellow this time. Pure yellow. And again, just um, near the green color. Get closer to the black background, guys. Meaning you go down. Just gonna dab on some pure yellow. It's like uh, doing a map using the colors. All right, I'm gonna water it down and go back here. Again, uh, med uh, medium yellow. I'm watering it down. And then I'm even going inside some orange color. I think anyone can do this. It's so easy and fun. All right. Okay, now I'm going to get some yellow-green color. How is it? So I'm going to use the yellow that's already on my brush. And we're going to go back to our yellow-greeny color. I'm going to add more yellow, to be honest, because um, we don't want it to be too green. Oh, that's too yellow now. I'm going to add more greeny color. So if you already ran out of the green that we used earlier, you can add blue to the yellow. And again, just go around this area. And again, use your greeny color, and we can go inside the leaf now. I mean, inside those yellows and green, um, yellows and orange, so that we, we form some patterns, irregular patterns. All right. Then I'm going to add some more yellow to my green to make some yellow green color, like that. Actually add more yellow to make it more yellowish All right. then apply it randomly here so the application should be really random don't think too much Mm, there's really nothing to think about um, about this subject really it's more of um, making some natural patterns so we don't have to think about natural you just have to repetitively do the the patterns once you already got the pattern just keep doing it until we finish it right I'm gonna make this quite light. Okay. 
All right, wash your brush out. Okay, I'm gonna get some yellow color. Yellow, I'm gonna go inside the orangey color. And I'm gonna go around the veins. I mean, along the veins. Like that. Okay, wash your brush out. I'm gonna get again some yellows because I'm usually yellow is the one that we mix with the other color. Like we mix it with red to get some orange. We mix it with blue to get green. That's why it easily gets contaminated. So this time I'm gonna get just pure cat yellow. And I'm gonna go and highlight some areas now. So I'm just going around the leaf. Using my medium yellow. I don't know if I said cat yellow, but I'm using medium yellow. If you're gonna use your cat yellow, it's all right. Now I'm gonna use, okay, let's go and get our titanium white. So I'm just gonna get my titanium white. Right. All right, so I'm gonna get my titanium white, not too much. I'm gonna mix it with my cad I mean, with my medium yellow. Okay. Like that. So I'm just using my yellow and white. And I'm gonna go in between orange and green using my yellow, my bright yellow. It's just creating some space between the two colors, orange and the green. And you can be creative here, like create patterns if you want. <laughs> mm. And I'm not really like pressing so hard. I'm quite gentle because I want some texture as well. So I'm just using it again and I'm going to make some tiny, tiny patterns here and there. Okay, here as well. I'm just creating some tiny patterns. Okay. 
Okay, you can use your pure cad, I mean medium yellow. <laughs> Keep saying cad yellow. And I'm gonna use my finger just to blend it like that. And here as well. Just use your medium yellow I hope you're still following, guys. Okay, I'm gonna water it down, my medium yellow, and I'm gonna make some markings here. I'm going to get my light orange. So to get your light orange, the orange that we already used, just add yellow. As I told you guys, I'll be layering a lot. I'll be layering a lot here. Okay, now I'm going to get my brownie color that we already mixed and that is a combination of red and black and yellow, but mostly red and black. So here it is, the brownie color. We're going to go back here guys and I'm going to water it down to make some patterns that is naturally created when you water it down. Okay, again here. So just create some patterns. Using your brown mixture. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna add some black to it. We'll be making some more greens later. I'm just trying to do some natural markings. Like that. Okay, wash your brush out. All right, now I'm gonna make some yellow greeny color again. Oh, but this time it will be more bluish. So I'm going to add more phthalo blue to the green mixture. Okay, this is just my own decision, guys. <laughs> I think I'm, yeah. All right. And then I'm going to water it down. And just make some markings here. It has to be random, guys. It doesn't have to be in any particular pattern. 
because once it starts to be in a particular pattern it doesn't look and feel natural at all it's like dark green Like that in here. All right, like that. Wash, wash up. Again, our brownie color plus black. Make it quite dark brown. So red, black, but red and black. But this time, add more black so that it's quite dark brown. And let's go here. Let's go back here. So just apply it on the edges of our leaf. All right, wash up a shop. All right, now I'm gonna make some more orange color. I'm gonna, okay, we have this orange color here, right? But I'm gonna add more red to that. And the, the brown color that we have here, just get a tiny bit of that, mix it with this color. And I'm gonna water it down and make some droplets like that. Did you see that? I just threw some water droplets with the paints because I really want that effect to happen like that. I hope you saw that. <laughs> you see that? All right. So I just threw some, um, be careful in doing this technique though, because we don't want any splatters around your house. I'm very careful when I do this because my house is quite white. <laughs> so I'm really careful with that. So like that, I just threw in some markings so that it cre really creates that um, look that I want to achieve for this painting. And now I'm going to get my cad yellow, pure cad yellow guys, pure cad. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to splatter. I'm just using my brush when I'm doing this. So use your yellow again in between um green and orange you don't go just everywhere guys do this with intention like that our painting will be quite wet but i like it so i'm just using my yellow color again i'm just watering it down and throwing in some water droplets like that here and there in between our greens and orange I mean here and here in between so you apply it here I like it all right I like it 
So we're going to allow it to, to really sink, right? So I'm going to get my pure white. Oh, where's my white? All right. Get your titanium white. Let's go back to the edges of our leaf and highlight some areas again. Okay, we're gonna highlight the stem. I'm gonna use my white. Like that. I'm gonna use it here. We're gonna fix this one. It's quite too much. And here, I'm going to make some white. Okay, now I'm going to go inside. Dab on some tiny bits of white. It should not be too much, guys, because there's not a lot of white in here. More of bright yellow, but not white. But I just want to make sure that I highlight those yellows by glazing it with white, like this. looks nice okay wash your brush out and again I'm just gonna get my medium yellow and go back to some areas Again, medium yellow. You can mix it with white for this part. We can go here. I'm gonna use my orange. So mix your yellow plus your or uh, your red, and we can go back here. Is that again, guys? We want to make it quite natural looking. We don't want any, you know, weird looking lines. Okay, I'm gonna add a tiny bit of yellow to the orange mixture to make some light orange color. Okay, again, medium yellow. Like that. Okay, wash your brush out. Then I'm gonna get I'm gonna get my green color, this color that we already have, so blue and yellow, and then I'm gonna make it more yellowish. So I'm gonna add a tiny bit of yellow to it, so yellow green color. 
again water it down because we're going to be splattering it again of course on the uh, on the green side of or on the green portion of the painting Again, green color, water it down, and splatter. Not too much though. Again, uh, splatter only along the uh, edge of the leaf. Alright. Okay, wash your brush out. I'm gonna get my orange color so this one the orange color that we already have and I'm gonna go in the middle and water it down but this time I'm gonna be applying okay I, actually the yellow is mixing so much I'm gonna use ooh, I'm just gonna use my finger that is to make some orange color like that and you may find it really weird if you do this, <laughs> but I'm gonna finger paint. Apply some orangey color here. I'm very gentle with my application again so I'm gonna finger paint using my yellow I'm gonna apply it here because it's so much easier for me to control the paint I'm gonna do another video finger painting but <laughs> this time we'll be doing this for purposes of color mixing How is it? Okay. Okay, wash your brush out. I'm gonna get my titanium white plus medium yellow. I'm just going to make more highlighted areas. Okay, like that. Wash your brush out. Get your medium yellow. And I'm just going to glaze the greeny part because I think it's too green. It should be a little yellow greeny. This one, especially this one. I think it's raining. It's raining, guys. Love it. Okay. Wash your brush up. I'm going to get my black color and fix some areas that we've splattered on. <laughs> Okay, just fix that. Okay. Nice. I'm gonna get again my medium yellow plus white. And just to highlight it again, because Ooh. oh, okay, I ruined it. I ruined it. This part, so I'm just gonna 
fix it, of course. I can see the the lightning from my window. Mm. All right, I'm gonna get my yellow plus white. I'm just gonna go here along the veins. All right, wash your brush out. And I'm gonna go up and make this a little yellow greeny. Okay, get your green color. I think it's really good that I tried this as well. Just using the primary colors because um, what they call this cleaning time <laughs> when I'm done painting it would be really easier for me because I only have like five paints lying around compared to my usual like a huge trolley of paints <laughs> so this is really like not stressful in terms of cleaning time <laughs> I'm just using my cat yellow here and there. All right. Let me check that out. I think this is good. This is really good. Yay! So I think I have to sign it now. Not yet, guys. Not yet. I'm actually waiting for this area to dry. But okay, I can sign it while waiting for some areas to dry. So I'm gonna get my. Um, light blue. So let's just use our blue and then let's just use our white. <laughs> so, like this color, like cerulean blue, like that. So, I'm just gonna sign it here. Because I'm waiting for the paint to dry. Okay, wash your brush out. Wash it carefully. Alright, wash it, wash it. I can still see some blue paints. So I'm gonna get my cad, I mean my medium yellow. I'm just gonna go back and glaze this area. make it quite bright so i'm using my medium yellow to glaze that part like that okay wash your brush out get your cad yellow i mean your medium yellow I keep saying cad yellow and then go back here and make some more yellowish markings you can do this forever you know that you can do that forever and I'm gonna get my black plus brown. Wow, I can see the lightning and glaze it. and make some markings. Okay. 
and add some veins Okay, get some orange, apply it randomly along the edge. Like that. Get your red plus black. Make some random markings again. It has a it has a lot of watery layers. That's the difference between watercolors and acrylic. All right. <laughs> Gonna make some more markings like that. Okay. I think this is good. This is really good. Yes. So, yay! Yeah, hey. So, thanks for watching, guys. We're done. And yes, I love it. I love it that we were able to do uh, a maple leaf painting using primary colors. And of course, red, I mean, black and white, of course. So, it's amazing. It's amazing. It felt good, right? <laughs> And of course, guys, as usual, you know me, uh, towards the end of the video, <laughs> I keep um, redoing things. So I'm just going to get my yellow-green color, <gasps> and I'm just going to go back. Okay, hey, wash your brush out. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed that one. I hope you enjoyed that one. Next time, I'll be doing a separate video for finger painting. So for now, we're done with the primary colors. Maybe I'll do another one next time. So thanks for watching, guys. And see you in my next video. <laughs>